good morning, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. Today, I'm at Grossel Station again, and I'm going to be riding the Class 230s for the first time. Now, a couple of facts about these trains. The bimodal, battery, diesel, and electric. Uh, they converted from the district line stock. They ran on the district line. They're called D-stock trains They're from the London Underground. They ran on the district line. Line, except from the branches to Wimbledon and Edgware Road. Now these trains have been testing for the past three years. In fact, it's been more than that. Since DFWD started, these have been the trains that have been testing most. If I can remember correctly. Actually, maybe there's six, seven, six lines. And they've been tested because of COVID, River Rail going burst, and multiple other reasons. They've not been able to run for so long. Now I'm going to be riding today between Grosselt and Bidston. Um, I don't know how much it costs me, but I've got my card on me. So that's all good. So I'll we'll see you when it comes. The next train to arrive at Platform 2 is the online 23 service to Wrexham Central. This service is now expected to depart the line 29. Lagging on these trains is pretty good, but nice. Got lagging on these um, seatings here. The airline seats. Sadly, they don't have the tray tables on though. So they just noticed that. There's a big downside to these trains actually. Thank you. 
The next stop is Buckley. Thank you. I went off the train to the shelf today. This is some Smith. This has got a station sign. It's not on the platform. So I know they're working through the units. I'm getting off as an estimate. The storage. I'm showing you the storage. Yeah. The next stop is. So you can see here we've got the curved handrail. It's quite cool actually. Yeah. So I need to fill over there. Yeah, it's got like a nice curve to it. It's just something not many people will have noticed. Quite a big toilet as well, which is quite nice. Got smoke detectors in here. Okay, so we've got fold-out seats here. This is for wheelchairs. Just gonna test how comfy they are. So I want to swing back a bit to use. I feel like I've used them. But they are actually really comfy. So yeah, it's quite cool. This is a nice, this is a nice uh, seating area. Okay, so these trains are really good. Uh, the only downside is that the airline seats don't have any tray tables on them, which is a total shame in my opinion. The upside factors for these trains are that they have the fully walk through trains, as you can see behind me. They do not have any doors, and they're also three coaches longer, so they've got an extra coach compared to the class 150s. With the 777s seven, seven, seven in service on the Merseyrail lines, I think this will be the perfect pair on the Borderlands line. These seats sound very soft, which is a total shame as well. However, these ones are, but I've not got a high end on them. However, for short journeys, they are quite comfortable, really. I mean, you only be on the train for about an hour if you're going from Wrexham to Bidston. Anything other, probably about half an hour at most. So, really, you're not going to be on them that long. And uh, I'm still there. And uh, yeah, for the, for the short journey, they are quite good. Be honest. I'd also like to say that the Wi-Fi does not work on this train. I tried connecting to it and uh, when I sign in everything and it just went to sign in again and it doesn't connect, which is a shame. Hopefully they can get that working and they will pass it on to DFW, but it's also likely they will see this video. these trains is when I went to put my USB in uh, my phone wouldn't charge so on these trains the uh, USB sadly doesn't work which is another down thing about these trains we're going to test some more USBs in a minute but the ones on these seats down currently don't work 
So that concludes this class 230. And I will say it is quite bad in my opinion actually. Um these are quite uncomfortable, but like I say, you only learn for about an hour, it's half an hour, so that doesn't really matter. Um no Wi Fi. Oh, I don't have work in fact Wi Fi that should I say. USBs don't work. If we can get them fixed, they will be better in my opinion. But in the minute they're not very good. Plus when they're at a max acceleration, they are quite loud. When they're departing, they're a lot quieter than the uh, past 150s, as you can hear now. Um, but once you get to the max speed, um, as you'll hear in a minute, they are quite loud. And uh, the, when you walk with team, the metal bits, really noisy because they're banging on, when they're bouncing, the chains bouncing, they're banging very loudly. If they can't fix these things, and it'll be a much better tree in my opinion because they are really nice trees on the outside I was expecting a lot more but it is a bit of a shame that these things don't work and a couple of facts about these trains I already have some them but uh, these trains are currently running a two hourly service between Wrexham Central and Bidston so that's it for this video thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video there's going to be some more photos now and the video of the train departing Thanks for watching and see you next time. Goodbye for now.
that was in his chest. It's also in his So, you know, it'll never be in the list. Yeah.